Okay, here we go guys. The 81 Ford pickup we've been building for Paz. Here she is. She's done and finished. Take a look at that. So he was going for that charcoal gray with the pearl in it and he wanted everything that was chrome just black. Bumpers, grill, mirrors. This truck is incredible. You know, I didn't I didn't get the vision when it first started out because normally we don't do these newer vehicles. You know, I know, you're thinking new. 81's not new, Rick. Oh, it's new for us. But I see the vision now. And I mean, even I myself would drive that around all day long and be proud of it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. He's got his modern kind of wheels on there on 18s. He went for the look on the wheels because see, if you can see down here how they got little squares, he thought the truck is all square. So let's go for these kind of wheels. We smoked out all the lenses on it. Chris did a fabulous job, if you remember. We had a video up. He, uh, he took the wood and he burnt it with a torch and then we stained it. Look at how beautiful that looks. Got those big old Ford letters on that tailgate. I mean, this thing is just... Sean did an awesome job on doing the bodywork. Jared got in there and did a beautiful job painting this truck and this truck is not wet sanded or polished whatsoever. You know. He kept it pretty much stock looking inside, changed the wheel out, went for something where the wheel would just have that little bit of a pop, that contrast, but just stuck with the charcoal in the black. Seats all done, obviously new carpets. I mean, the truck was a frame off restoration. We did a complete frame off on this. Everything underneath is powder coated, replaced, new differential completely rebuilt, transmission rebuilt, inline six cylinder, 300 on propane. I know why on propane. This was Paz's first truck. When he turned 16, this is what he bought, and uh, they put it on propane. And, um, you know, that's just what happened. And he had it forever, and then he parked it back in the 90s, and nothing became of it, and put it in his dad's barn, and it sat there and sat there, and then he said, you know what? I want to restore this truck. So it's for sentimental reasons that he did this, and that he loves the truck. Just amazing. I'll give you maybe a quick shot of underneath the hood here. Bear with me while I get this popped. There we go. He's coming to pick it up. Um, and I'm hoping he's super stoked over this. Okay. Look at that. The hood's painted up just like it should be. Mounted the propane system over there. Yes, I know all about propane. I worked doing propane for 12 years converting vehicles. I was the guy and I'm not bragging. We did the valve cover in the same color as the body. We had lucid lines. My buddy Al, Al if you're out there, cue ball Al, he did the propane power, the big block letters and then the power just like the valve cover had on it. Except they never said propane, it said Ford powder. So we are still waiting on an air cleaner, unfortunately. But that's it. That's it. This old girl is going home. Get her closed up. So there you go, guys. So I just want to give a huge shout out to my staff here. Chris, Sean, Jared, these guys like, they just have picked up the pace around here. They're so good. Not that they're, I'm not saying they're ever slow, but they're just so good. I've got the best team ever. Um, I don't know what to say, so. Yeah, I just want to thank those guys. I didn't do nothing, man. I didn't do a thing. I brought the truck in, and then now I'm just going to take it away. So that's it. Anyway, remember, it's always a good time at old time. Thanks for watching. Remember, check us out on Instagram. And um, that's it. See you later, guys.